Hello fellow weirdos. Welcome back. We're playing Cradle and I just brute forced my way through another pavilion. What's our task now? Okay, synchronizer. So we've been collecting bits to replace, uh, but I think we're running out of replaceable bits and there might be some on. Oh no! I don't have the sword again! Shit! I know why there was so little information about me. August 15th was my first work day at the Gerbera Garden. I had come here for the first time with that group of kids, and the explosion occurred two hours later. I bet she had something to do with the explosion. Just saying. <gasps> Has the sun set? I think it might have. Yeah, I hear owls. I also hear other fu other stuff. Come here. Splat. Take that. Uh, which way is out? Oh, there. I always get myself confused. I know that's where our ride is. Yeah, that's what I didn't remember, is that after playing a pavilion, all your stuff resets as well. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> that is one big moon. Also, the moon is a tad too abstract to be real, I think. Further developing my it's all virtual, isn't it? Um, conspiracy. Why do I have the normal cursor? I thought something was off, but... Why Why do I have my normal desktop cursor? Uh, it's, it shouldn't be here. the wind in my ears. Ah, oh, this is so cool. Oh my god. Okay, give me a second here. Oh, and now it's off. Okay, I guess something... I had something... Something must have been working weirdly. Uh, let me do something here. Okay, so if there were any hiccups, it's because I tried to pause and unpause the recording. But I did get rid of the desktop cursor, so there is that. Also, taking like all the screenshots. <laughs> uh, yeah, the Milky Way looks a tad digital as well. So, on one hand, I could think that perhaps the sky being such abstract, uh, showing such abstract display is part of the game aesthetics. 
but at the same time the other environments are so photorealistic so I think that something something's still up not everything is what it seems I think okay at least the solar panel is still up Oh, the light is still on. I guess we have... Yeah, the batteries are in the box, so we should have some extra... Extra uh, power, storage, time... Okay, I'm back. Did you ring it? I did. Hold on while I replace it. Oh, right, I have to go through the motions myself. Gotcha. Uh, chest panel, I think. Er. Right, now what? <laughs> it's fine. No, it ain't. Then it help. For now, we'll see if it lasts. How long will your charge last? About two weeks, maybe less. Say, know what I found? The correspondence of that operator, Mark, with one of his colleagues. There are some strange tidbits here. Here, listen to this. To be honest, it doesn't really interest me. Wait, this is important. It's about your parents. Oh no! What? Your parents. And me as well. Here, listen. It's a work correspondence. They're talking about research into memory transfer between people using telepathy. Telepathy? That's what it says here. They're discussing telepathy and also mention some kind of side effect. They refer to it as NPR zero. The NPR zero effect. What is it? Well, if my understanding is correct, it's a sensation. A strange sensation experienced when one transmits one's memory. And what of it? Mark writes that at one time he was very interested in the matter, studying NPR Zero thoroughly after that incident with Edo. That incident? We must have been acquainted. Even though I remember nothing about Mark or any unusual effects, and I cannot imagine what incident he's referring to. And what about my parents? That's here too. He recalls working at a research station before the garden was constructed. There weren't many people around in those days. His circle of contacts was limited to several work colleagues and his Mongolian friends. He writes, it's the family living in a yurt not far from the landing platform. That's your family, isn't it? Sounds like it. Where are your parents now? They died long ago. Why? They could have probably answered many of our questions. Maybe Mark even told them about me. Are you alright? Yes, maybe. Maybe he told them. Ida, is everything fine? Everything fine is an ordinary word. Just a note. Like the weather, chilly or warm, that we were looking for other research. <laughs> records, kind of letters. So... What was that just now? More of the same? Yes. Again. Enovish. What? I don't think I have much time. Please, help me untangle this web with Mark. I want you to look through your parents' things. 
They may have left behind notes, journals. Understood. I'll go look for them. Tabaha is here. Hey, oh. <gasps> We're getting auto saves like every minute now. What task? Okay. So let's let's go talk to him. Uh, also, I don't remember if uh, that's in the recording that got lost, but I noticed that there's like uh, all those memorabilia around home. Uh, I'm suspecting that there might be somewhat of a Blade Runner situation here is that uh, a copy of a person or a construct of a person uh, obsessively collects memorabilia so it's like uh, the uh, the memories that are really yours I think oh he's on the other side Institute huh Yo, I'm guessing there there's more than one of any of us here. Looks like it'll rain. Rain today? There'll be rain and thunder, and it'll sweep all profiteers into a ditch. What happened? You got any idea how much the search cost me? No. How much? One and a half. Is that a lot? <laughs> well, when and by Angor has the internet ever cost one and a half? I'll pay you back. I won't take money from your destitute self. All right. <laughs> the information was paid for and delivered by a personal courier. Very nice. So, what did you find out? Well, first of all, that the Better Garden was never about entertainment. It was a hospital, I know. But what happened to it? The kids were all patients, yeah? Well, one of them had his container overflow. The passim exploded. That's what happened. I'm watching his... Uh, <laughs> eye loop. That's all? Hold your horses. The story ain't so simple. A person gets his body replaced and blows up minutes later. You might ask, how could they not have checked the container? Turns out they did check, and the container was empty. And yet, 15 minutes later, it up and explodes. In other words, the capsule filled and overflowed rapidly. Pretty much instantly, in point of fact. It there is. must have been a reason. Must have been, sure. But it wasn't found. All that's known is that there was a mishap with this particular child's transfer. Turns out, he had been talking to himself while in the booth. That was the mishap. As to why he blew up, that part's unclear. When he came outside, all his stats were normal. And he looked calm. You can see it on the video. He was talking to himself? What about, I wonder? Nobody knows. The conversation wasn't saved. What's the video you mentioned? From the security cameras. You can see everything. Here he is, coming out of the booth in an M-body. Here's the sword acceptance ceremony. Here he is, getting off the stage and heading into the garden. He's walking evenly, takes a seat on the edge of a flower bed. Then, this part is a bit unclear. What's happening? A child comes up to him as he's sitting. A teeny little thing. Walks up and says something to him. Looks like the kid fancies the sword and is asking for it. Okay. Okay. So our hero hands over the sword. He's holding on to the hilt. Hand extended. The child is trying to take the sword but can't. Why can't he? Because he's grabbing at the blade, which is holographic. The kiddo's fingers swish right through the air, through the illusion. 
Uh oh, frustration! I see. And then what happens? Then, nothing happens. It's the end of the recording. The explosion is coming up. Here's a grown up approaching the kids. That's the transfer operator. He walks up to his patient and asks him something. The latter turns around and blows up a second later. And that's it. Doesn't clear up much, I'm afraid. Oh, hi, Mark. Mark, or who are you asking about? The one who blew up? That was Albert. And the other child? The little one? Don't know. He was one of the locals. Not sure how he <laughs> ended up inside the garden. Ah. Uh. Have fun with your little mystery now, but I'm off. See you tomorrow? I don't know. It might be three, four days, maybe a week. We'll see. All right, take care now. Don't get caught in the rain. Hold on, Tabaha. I've got one more question. I told you everything I know about this garden. I've got nothing else. It's not about the garden. It's about my parents. Yes? I wanted to remember something about my parents. Here. <gasps> What's this? A key to the drawer of your Grandpa Bachin's bedside table. Oh. Where did you get it? Bachin left it to me. He said that if ever you asked me about your parents, to give you this key. So, that's what I'm doing. And I don't know nothing else. Goodbye, Goodbye Tvaha. Before I go on with the actual mission, I'm gonna diddle daddle around in the dome a little bit more. Also, I'm not buying the whole hospital theory. I am guessing that there was something else going on. Like harvesting something or trying to unlock something. Well, this is where the sword usually is. I'm guessing these flowers might have something to do with it. I'm guessing maybe these flowers grow because of some something that happened here. It's like the explosion created these flowers maybe? I don't know. Oh, a rainbow of sorts. Do I get another one of these cloudy thingies? Do I? They're definitely talking. Is 
the night is so awesome that I don't want to go inside just yet or carry on with the uh, with the events because I think then then time will go on poof yeah let's have another one birds are up but also owls okay I think it was here that I found this note thingy was it was it or was it outside I might have been outside the enclosure Yeah, that's just a rock. I totally don't remember the names that were in the note. a branch uh, it was a while ago when I was exploring this area so I don't remember where where what was It's just a rock too. Oh no! Also rocks? Yeah, I think it was outside the enclosure. <laughs> I mean, the sky has patterns, like artsy patterns. This is not a real sky, people. Is it? Just rocks and flowers. Where is my mighty steed? So, are these flowers open all day and night? Or is it just a day thing? Okay, let's go out 
here for a bit. There was also this um, display that I wanted to check. I think the dark bundles come out here sometimes, but I should hear them approaching. Okay, oh, I can't see any names here, although I'm fairly sure the woman is Ida. Oh, but these are different faces. It's like those averaged up faces where you can kind of see the features of one person and, and another one, but they're like blended together. I think it was that shrubbery there. Rock. Where is it? I remember a paper. A piece of paper with some adventure notes on it. Just like a pact between children or something. Uh, yeah, it's back here. I'm pretty sure it was here. I am going to end this episode here. I will continue my search on my own for a little bit and then we shall try to see what the, what the secrets are. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!